Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the uh, Kirby Triple Deluxe playthrough. We are entering World 5 of DDD Tour, which means we have two worlds left. As I've kind of been stating, uh, the last two worlds of this game are... Well, at least this world's fine, but the last world of the game is pretty freaking long. So this is more than likely going to be a long video, but we're going to see what we can do to uh, speed through this as best as we can. Um, but now, now we're on the, uh, World 5 Lava World, so that should be interesting. Um, so yeah, in addition to all the other things King DDD can interact with, uh, you can interact with the fire blocks as well. Uh, the move you have to use, though, is you have to use the, uh, dash move, so the hammer slide. Uh, that will, I guess, cool down the fire, I guess. Don't get how that works, but I guess, uh, it just happens, so... <laughs> That's really all I gotta say about that. Um, but yeah, actually, um, I've done some work on this file uh, in between uh, recording sessions, uh, believe it or not. I've actually unlocked a couple of uh, different things, or at the very least, I played through uh, the uh, copy ability mode, the Kirby Fighters. I played through that some more, and I actually managed to... Uh, um, beat all the stages with, uh, all the abilities, so I've beaten, basically just did normal mode with all the copy abilities. And, uh, since I've done that, I actually have a medal next to that mode now, so... I'm thinking that I might actually make this, uh, my, uh, my Let's Play file, I might make that my kind of 100% file, I guess. Uh, just because I honestly wasn't expecting to, uh... I actually was not expecting to get the gold medals on the uh, DDD uh, drum dash at all. So the fact that I did get them actually kind of shows me, you know what, maybe I can just do this on my Let's Play file. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So for now, uh, my Let's Play file is going to be my first 100% file. Now, I don't know if that means I'm going to necessarily do that for this playthrough, because there's a lot of keychains I have to grind for, let's be real. But... Uh, you know, definitely something I am going to be considering for the future, at least, instead of using my practice file at the, at the very least. So yeah, I just felt like kind of sharing that little tidbit of information. For now, though, we're just going to focus on finishing up the uh, DDD tour, and then uh, after that, we'll basically just have the two arenas left, so uh, we'll take care of those after that, and then we'll be uh, pretty much on our way to 100%ing. Just to be a matter of, again, grinding those keychains, I guess. Uh, so right here, uh, this is the uh, Waddle Dee Dash. Now remember, because the Waddle Dee is faster, this is going to be a little harder to do. I think I actually did it. Hell yeah. So this will probably get us a warp point that we can use to skip a good amount of this world. Before we do though, let's go up here, see if we can get some other goodies. Making me even wonder if this is even a shortcut, if I'm being honest. Because we're going through more than that one warp point would have allowed us to get to, but... Okay, there's a warp point right there. Let's go ahead and go into that. And we'll see if this does actually take us a little bit further into the world. Okay, now we have the portal gimmick again. And now we have the wall smashers again.
Okay, another warp portal. Will this take us to the halfway point? Indeed, okay, cool. So we're actually halfway done with World 5, which is uh, honestly pretty nice, because again, as I said before, World uh, 6 is very, very long, so the quicker we get to that world, probably the better. But we'll keep on moving and see what we can do. Also, if you couldn't tell by my uh, life counter, um, I did actually have to turn my game off in between recordings. So that's why I have less lives than I had before. Not that you'll actually need them for this mode or any of the modes in this game anyway, but still just felt like putting that out there just in case people were wondering... If people were once again doubting my skills in a Kirby game. It's fine, I would have doubted my skills too. <laughs> Not because I think I'm bad at Kirby games, it's just I'm known to make silly mistakes sometimes. Like that. Point being. <laughs> Oh, come on, I stopped. At least I tried to, anyway. Woo. Stay there. Damn it. that. We're not quite at the boss, though. I think this is the, uh, yeah, this is the, uh, mini-boss gauntlet world. Maybe get rid of them in time, but not quite. I'm actually going to try to do the different different routes um, in this one, as opposed to what I did the first time I played through here. Because I believe I went like uh, right, left, right. So now I'm doing left, right, left, and so on. I think we are getting some new bosses, too. But I feel like we just fought Mr. Frosty not too long ago. Before I go in those warp stars. Well, I mean, that's kind of nice, is I think you do actually, uh, no matter what path you go, you still get all the treasure chests. I'm pretty sure. It's hard to tell, because you don't get sun st st sunstones in this mode, so... So I'm not 100% sure there, but it is what it is.
course, we're going to go the top route, because that'll probably lead us to a warp of some kind. I don't think I found a single keychain in this world, by the way. Believe it or not, though, I don't think Deity Tour is actually a great place to get keychains. I think I actually found out that the best way to get keychains is probably to go to a level like 1-2 and just go through that over and over again. Just because, again, like it's a, sh it's a short level and all the keychains are pretty like on the way, so that's why I say 1-2 specifically. Over, like, 1-1, one, one, for example. Hey, a keychain. <laughs> I got one of them, anyway. So what do we got in here? Okay, more of these. Okay, I think we're ready for the boss. I want to say this world's been, like shorter than the last two worlds, although I think I found, like, all the warps. Well, in other worlds, I think I missed the warps in some of the cases, so... So we're gonna go ahead and face off against the next boss. We have Pyribit. Or Pyribit. I think it's supposed to be Pyribit. Because of Pyro. This boss has a damn habit of staying in the background all the time. And see, like, he was there for, like, two seconds. Like, come on. Quit being a baby. See, it looks like I am getting, like, a little bit of damage gone whenever I use the hammer flip, but it's, like, not very much. So, again, it's debatable if it's worth it or not. I'm on the front. Oh, now time to go away from it again. My God, I hate this boss so much. Just stay in the air. Just enough for like one hammer flip, and then he's back. Okay, one more hammer flip should do it. Got it. Okay. That's it for World 5. We did that pretty quickly, but uh, still got World 6. The longest of all the worlds. And see, yeah, that took us less time than both World 3 and 4. But we also only got one keychain, too. Thankfully, it's not a duplicate, so we got Angel Kirby, which is nice. Or Cupid Kirby, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so there we go. Let's start World 6. So, the thing that makes World 6 very long is that 
I feel like they utilize, like, not just, like, the World 6 element stuff, but it seems like they also utilize, like, a lot of just, like, repeat stuff from, like, older worlds. It's like a complete, like, redux of almost, like, everything in one, so... As a result, it just kind of takes a while. Even when you take, like, all the, uh, like, warp points and stuff. But yeah, see, we have, like, a lot of this, like, background stuff from, like, the first few worlds of the game. Take that, Rocky. See, it's like these are all the EX levels. They have like little sections from the EX levels. a warp there. Oh well. I wasn't quite ready for that, admittedly. Can I go back? I certainly can't. There's a key. Yay. Give me that key. Now watch, it's only gonna be for a one-up or some health. That's exactly what it's for. Thing. I kind of wish they would, like, reward you with more keychains instead of, like, the health items. I don't know, it just seems like it's kind of unnecessary to just give us all these, like, lives and health upgrades. Let's see if I can maybe get some goodies here. This is gonna lead us to a warp point, I think.
Thanks, Waddle Dee. Sorry you had to walk off the cliff like that, but to each their own. Okay, it's snow time. Do 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 Nope. Thought there could be something there, but apparently not. It is I have to admit, like I I, I always thought that like Meta Nightmare mode and Kirby Superstar Ultra was cool and just the idea of playing as like a character like Meta Knight's cool. I think I kind of enjoy playing as King Dedede more, and I think that's just because I, I, I for one, enjoy Hammer more than Sword anyway, so definitely some bias there, but I don't know. It's just like, for a big guy, he still moves pretty fast, and like, his general control works well for moving fast, because he has like so many different moves that he can utilize. Like, he has the Hammer Flip for knocking bosses down very quickly and he also has like the air like circle attack too which is just really great coverage and just knocks enemies out of the way too so it's just really fun playing as DDD. I've always been a fan of DDD though I still remember when DDD was announced for Smash Bros. I was already really hyped that Meta Knight was going to be in the game. And then later, just seeing, like, oh, here's a newcomer, King DDD. And I'm like, whoa, that, that's actually really cool. And, like, he was, like, going to be one of the characters I was going to play as most when Brawl first came out. And sure enough, he did become one of my mains for Brawl, so. It is kind of nice how it worked in that fashion. That hit me, seriously? I disagree with that. I disagree with that. Hey, it's a train. Choo choo choo. Okay, yeah. Let's just wait for the trains. Not that I'm complaining, I'm fine they're the way they are, but I almost feel like the dynamite should have, like, smaller timers. Okay, so I got that. Okay, so we are going to get two key two keychains for this, which is good. Now watch them both be duplicates. <laughs> Would not, honestly not be surprised if they were... I think those are the first two keychains I got, so we'll actually see if they are duplicates. Because I'm pretty sure they go in order. Now I think this is the level that has that hole in the wall. Maybe it's not. It's the level that has the ice cream up here. I don't think it was ice cream before, but... It was a goodie. Hi, Waddle Dee. You know what? Let's get some health back. Okay, wheelie? That wind was not helping. Okay, so now I don't think that actually means we're halfway through. I think they actually have more of those checkpoints in this world because of how long it is. 
so no idea no idea guys Kine's theme. It is Kine's theme. I actually dodged the attack by doing that. That's pretty cool. Kine's theme. It is Kine's theme. Kine's theme. Kine's theme. You ever do that where you just like... <laughs> for a song that has no lyrics, you just make up lyrics and the, the lyrics are literally just the name of the song. <laughs> I feel like I do that a lot. <laughs> Oh, no, hold on. <laughs> it's not at that part yet. <laughs> it is Kine's theme. Kine's theme. Kine's theme. Kine's theme. It is Kine's theme. Right. Oh. I actually hit the button to attack there, it just didn't work. <laughs> yes, I am blaming input lag. <laughs> what 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 are you gonna do about it? <laughs> I don't know if I was supposed to go that way or not. There is stuff up there. You know what? This is probably not gonna be worth it. It's probably not gonna be worth it. Yeah, that was totally not worth it. I did show you guys how you were supposed to do that one room, though, where that I missed the uh, button on. I made it! Could have sped up the conveyor belts a little bit, but... Nope. Do I really need to get that health upgrade, though? I probably don't. If I had no health, like, if I had full health, then yeah, I would just, would have just skip that. Probably even the... the tokens as well. It's like there w literally would have been no point. Okay, back to Aladdinville. Patience, Iago. I don't know why that's a random line I always quote from Aladdin. Just patience, Iago. I definitely messed up. I'm trying to think of what I was... Oh! Duh. Hmm. 
My bad. Huh. Warp. Okay, back in the lava world for Block Snakeville. They just, they just put too many of those tokens, I think, behind those gates, I think. Yeah. Uh, down here? Hey, another keychain. I think that's four. Beats the previous world's collection of one. Gosh. But see, just to kind of give you guys an idea of what we're dealing with here, like... Just so you realize, we're like... We're still on like all the remix stuff of this world. Like we haven't even actually seen any like world... Uh, um, world 6 like original stuff. A lot of this stuff is just like the rehash stuff that's in like the... Um, like the extra levels or the backtracking levels or whatever and like we've, we've already gone on longer than like the longest world that we've had so far so it just kind of gives you an idea of how long this section is But he, they, they need to get there. Shoot. Actually, I can still get. I can. Oh no, I can't get that. Okay. Well, whoops. Yeah. See that enemy got killed by like a, I think it was a lava rock. So as a result, we have to go through this now, which we probably wouldn't have to if we would have gotten that warp. Oh, 
come on, I, I saw that too late. Yeah, get worked! <laughs> Sorry, I got a little too excited right there. Come on, give me the one up. Hey, more World 1 stuff! <laughs> Like I said, they just seem to do like a lot of the remix stuff in this one world. I feel like that went faster than it should have. Literally nothing in there. Apparently. Except me getting pushed in the face. Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to use this Maxim Tomato because I'm actually taking a lot of damage. No regrets. Okay, so we are we're we're actually doing some world 6 stuff now. Damn it. Did it. Go in here. Hey, back to the snow world again. Ouch. I gotta be careful because I am actually taking more damage now. So yeah, we're up to about 40 minutes now on this <laughs> recording. So yeah, this has been very long, and who knows how long it is going to be. Okay, 
back to the temple. Oh, shoot. this room again. Oh, there's a healing item. I'll take that. I didn't want to take a lava shower. That just sounds not fun. I could have probably made that. <laughs> but no, I'm like, I have to be safe. Damn it. Right, that's the... do the slide attack again, but it didn't go fast enough. There we go, there we go. Hey, back to World 6 stuff again. It's been a while. Sorry I've been quiet for a bit, I'm just really focusing on this. <laughs> <laughs> 